What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. Behind my face cam, we have one of the funniest looking Pokemon of all time. We got ourselves a Lolan Sekidor for ranked regulation age. Now, when it comes to a Lolan Sekidor, this Pokemon is a ton of fun. It is a grass and dragon type, which is totally weird, but totally cool. And it also thrives in Trick Room. So we're using it with Frigraph Ursula. Look to grab some wins for you guys. But this Executor right here has Harvest as its ability, Rock and the Citrus Berry as its item, so we can use our Citrus Berry, then have a chance to harvest our berry again to get unlimited berries which would be awesome this pokemon's got trick room it's got dragon pulse it's got giga drain for hp recovery and last but not least it has protect definitely gonna be a fun pokemon to use hopefully we can grab some wins for you guys like i mentioned we got two other trick room pokemon we got frogaraf with armor tail and throat spray and then we got ursaluna with mind's eye and life orb you guys already know the power of ursaluna i feel like i don't even have to talk about it especially because it is rocking the standard move set our final three Pokemon on today's team features Corviknight, Incineroar, and Water Tauros. Now, Incineroar and Tauros going to be two of our Intimidate Pokemon, so we can bring them onto the field, lower physical attack, and then Corviknight going to be an Iron Defense Body Press Pokemon, so we can boost defense, body press through, and we also have Brave Bird to protect, so pretty strong Pokemon all around. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right-hand corner, and if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Alolan Executor. First match coming at you guys, and we are going up against an Annihilate team. Now, when it comes to this Annihilate, I kind of feel like it's Choice Scarf with Final Gambit, which could be awful for me. I do not want that. I definitely do not want that. But they also have Incineroar. They got Porygon 2 to thrive out in Trick Room. They also have Amoongus who thrives out in Trick Room. And then Miyash Karada and Golden Go. I feel like either way, we have to set up Trick Room. But I don't know who I want to lead. Because I can lead like Ferrigarath alongside with like Executor. Maybe try to pop Trick Room. Or I can pull it next to Corviknight and try to get that, you know, physical defense boost. That kind of sounds really good. So I'm going to go Corviknight. I am going to go Ferrigarath. I will bring Executor for late game. And last but not least, do we go in... With Ursaluna, or do we go in with Incineroar? Incineroar could be nice, especially because it's super effective onto the Golden Go and onto the Moongus, but Ursaluna is just so good. So I'm gonna go with Ursaluna. We're gonna go full on Trick Room Squad. We're not even gonna use Intimidate. We're gonna look to get after it. So hopefully they allow me to set up, you know, Trick Room and Iron Defense Turn 1. That's like my big thing right here. But I'm really curious to see who they go into. Because if they go Incineroar for the lead, I mean, we're just gonna Mirror Armor back, which is really good. But if they go into Annihilate, then it kind of scares me even more because Final Gambit's a thing. So, again, we'll try to figure it out. I think going into, like, Trick Room and Iron Defense can really, like, help us out on both sides of the field, right? Because if they Final Gambit the Corviknight, then we get off Trick Room. If they Final Gambit the Frigraph, then we get off Iron Defense, which will just boost up my boy Corviknight. And we can really get thriving with that guy. So, let's just see who they want to do. We got to see their lead first and foremost. Like, Annihilate is just so good all around. It really is. It's just such a tough Pokemon to kind of deal with. But we're trying. We're trying here. It's going to be Annihilate and Meowskarada. Okay. So Annihilate and a little scary. I, I feel like I have to terrestrialize my my Furigraph here. I really do. And just go into Iron Defense. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. We're going to terrestrialize. We're going to go straight into Fairy. And we are going to pop this lovely little trick. All right, cool. So yeah, I feel like this Annihilate has to be, I feel like it has to be Final Gambit. And if it is, it is. I, I, I feel pretty confident in this turn. It's like if they, if they Final Gambit to take out Annihilate, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. I have another Pokemon who can set up Trick Room in the back end with Executor. And if I can get that off, man, oh man, are we sitting good. Let's just see what they want to do. But we're going to Thrasilize the Graph, put a nice little Fairy Terror on its head. And we're going to start bulking up our Iron Defenses. Nice, lovely Iron Defense. Look at the Body Press through. Like, Body Press does a ridiculous amount of damage, so. Let's see. So, Fairy Terra Giraffe. Ready to roll. He's gonna go for that knockoff. Great Terra on our end. Ready to do that. Are you gonna go for a Bulk Up, maybe? Knock off my Throat Spray, but still. You're gonna go for a Drain Punch. That is just a perfect Terra and a perfect turn for us. It really is. So, Iron Defense. Boosting up Corvo plus two. I could go for another Iron Defense if I really want to. If I really want to, I could. I really want to, I could. But I think this is a simple turn for us to just go into body press here. Do some damage into you and then just throw a psychic into this slot. Two stab, super effective as well. One's not stab. Body press isn't. But body press still. Miascarada said lightweight. We could do some nice damage into that. My iron defense was just solid. Um, I was definitely thinking about setting up another one. But Nihilip's just going to protect. That's totally fine. 
Yeah, Shirado, what do you got cooking here? What you got cooking? Because Psychic's gonna get blocked. He's kind of reading that out. Trying to waste out some trick room turns. And body press gonna fly. Is this KOing? Focus Ash? Focus Ash. <laughs> so Focus Ash comes through here. Um, Flower Trick's gonna rock, and that's gonna do a nice chunk of damage. Probably not KO, does it? It does not. Okay. So no KO. I think Iron Defense is gonna be my play here, and we might just go for another Psychic. Actually, we're gonna just Hyper Voice cross board, because I really do think they swap Annihilate or Terrastalize it, so. I'm just gonna Hyper Voice get rid of Meow and drop another Iron Defense. You give me no reason not to. You give me no reason not to bulk this boy up. I really do feel like he's swapping or protecting. Or no, he already protected. I feel like he's either swapping or trash-slizing. Saying in here taking a Psychic is just not looking good for him, so... I am cool with this. Let's see, what you got here? What you got? Does he still have two Pokemon? There's the Withdrawal, great call on my end. And you're gonna go into Porygon 2. Unless you're Sucker Punch me. I don't even think you KO with Sucker Punch. When P2 comes out here, he's gonna download. And Protect comes out from Miyazakurata. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. So now I got Hyper Voice rocking. Doing a little bit of damage to P2. P2 might outspeed us in Trick Room. And we set up an Iron Defense. Now, if I had to guess, to be honest, he probably goes into a Ghost Tower type with P2. And honestly, just like brave birding this slot. Actually, we can brave bird to P2. And I can just go into a hyper voice here. I could helping hand it the brave bird. I'm not really too worried about Miascarada. I mean, flower trick's a little scary, but I mean, we can get rid of Miascarada in a little bit. So I do think he goes into a ghost terror with P2, predicting me going into a body press. So we're going to make that read there. So we've read the swap. We're going to try to make another read here. I feel like ghost P2 is an absolute must, right? I feel like it's a must. I feel like if you don't, you're just like letting yourself die. So I think this is a pretty easy read for me. But again, I could be wrong. Reads are reads, but I could be wrong. There's a nice little terror type. Come on, man. Show me ghosts. Show me ghosts. Let me be correct. Let me be correct, man. Fighting. Uh, okay, that actually works better for me. So we half predict the terror. We predict the terror, but not the typing. He goes into fighting. We're Brave Bird in this slot. Hyper Voice gonna launch, get rid of the Miascarada first and foremost, which is massive. And honestly, P2 probably goes first <clears throat> over Corvo. Terror Blast. <clears throat> Terror Blast gonna go after you. We should soak this. Yo, I haven't really seen Terror Blast fighting, and that looks insane. Brave Bird's not gonna KO, which is kinda sad. But Terror Blast fighting looks so dope. It looks like close combat. In like the older generations, like close combat, you just see like a bunch of fists pop up. That's exactly what it looks like. So Moogus comes out here as their final Pokemon. All right, I see you. I could end up hard swapping here. Oh, it's not their final. I forgot they still have Annihilate. I just think like Protect and maybe just like a Psychic flying through here. It's probably best for us because I think they go for a Spore at this point. Spore looking terrifying. I do have Executor who can deal with Spore. And I still have Ursulina, which is good. But I'm just going to protect Corvo Knight, try to make a nut yet another read. Trying to read Spore into Corvo. And now he's going to actually Spore the Frigraph, so we actually just miss out on a big time turn. So Ferrigi goes to sleep. We are protected right now. And you recover. That's a big turn for them. That's a big turn for them. That's the only problem with like using Trick Room up against like Amoongus. It really just rips. It really just rips. So I get back. More HP. He's probably going to put my Corvo Knight to sleep, unless Trick Room's done. Trick Room is done. And you could just protect the... You could just protect the Moongus here. I'm going to go for Body Press Psychic. You could protect the Moongus. I'm going to double down to P2. I'm going to double down to P2. The Moongus could protect here, especially seeing like Brave Bird on the field. I know Moongus is annoying, but he doesn't protect. Body Press flies, does decent damage for a graph. It'd be nice for you to wake up, but you didn't. And are you going to spore me here? You're going to go for an Ice Beam. You're going to take out him. And, oh man, Ice Beam P2 looking terrifying. I have to get rid of, I have to get rid of uh, P2. Unless you put me to sleep. You put me to sleep, I feel like you put me to sleep. Where are you palm puffing? Oh man, this is getting ugly. This is getting real ugly. This is getting real ugly. 
This is getting real ugly. As ugly as it gets. As ugly as it gets. As ugly as it gets. I mean, you are definitely super slow. You're gonna die out to an ice beam in one shot. We're just gonna go Nurse in here. We gotta go Nurse Luna. We gotta go Nurse Luna to take out somebody. We gotta blood move someone down. Oh, this is gonna get real ugly. This is gonna get real ugly. Oh, man. I'm gonna go Brave Bird into you. I would like to go for Blood Moon in this slot. Get rid of P2. Oh, dude, this is gonna get real ugly. Like, the spores on Amoongus is just gonna make this match terrible. I might, I think I'm gonna lose this just to, just to, uh, spores. Spores all day is terrible. And then they got Annihilate Bleak game. Oh, man. Not, this is not looking good. This does not look good, unless I wake up rather soon. Corviknight's gonna be slump. P2's gonna recover. Oh my. This is brutal. This is brutal. Blood Moon's gonna launch. How much damage are we doing here? You can just recover again. And you're gonna put me to sleep, aren't you? This is what I gotta deal with. I played so good this match, too. That right, looks like we're gonna tackle on this Amoongus first and foremost. Let's start attacking this bad boy. Brave Bird's launching. Corvo, I need you to wake up. I need you to wake up, Corvo. The Brave Bird gonna launch. We can. I'd rather wake up and just drop a Hyper Voice, but obviously I'm asleep this turn. I need Corvo to wake up right now. I think they're just gonna Spore Spam me and just Ice Beam through Ursaluna here. But I can't really do much, especially because P2 is gonna outspeed my Executor, and Ice Beam just takes us out. Finally, something other than the Spore comes through here, which is totally fine. Corvo, can you wake up? Of course not. Of course not. Of course not. Another recover. How do I want to play this one? I guess I just gotta keep going. Gotta keep going for Brave Bird Hyper Voice. Or I could go Brave Bird Blood Moon. Try to dump on this Amoongus. That'd be a nice KO. Yeah. I can't use it twice in a row. I already used it once and then I wasted a turn for sleep. That that still counts for twice in a row. That is ridiculous. But Corviknight's gonna wake up. Brave Bird's gonna launch. How much damage are we doing here? Great damage. You got a berry? Wait, what's your item? Terrible ass gonna launch here. Oh no. How much damage are you doing here? Enough. That just one taps me. That's ugly. That is ugly. Yeah, we are we are not looking good here. We're not looking good for you. And you go for another spore. I love this game. I love this game. Like I said, we're going to lose these spores all day. Tough first match. I mean, I think we played really good. Just, I mean, spore going nuclear. And we can't really do anything about this. Yeah, I think we just run this one. I think it's all over. Like, P2 and Amoongus able to do work like this is ridiculous. It's just absurd. I mean, I go into Executor. Ice Beam. Ice Beam's going to KO me. I mean, we might as well give it a shot, right? If we can survive an Ice Beam, that'd be nice. I mean, our best bet would just be, like, pr protecting this turn. And then going from there. That's a, that's our best bet. We'll be protecting Hope and Corviknight can then, like, wake up. And they withdraw Amoongus anyway, so... Brutal for us. Brutal for us. <laughs> and any Regenerator's HP. It's just, it's just an ugly match for us. Again, like I said, we played really well, like, in the first half, and then once they brought out, like, P2 and started sporing me with Amoongus, I was just like, dude, come on, man. That was rough. Yeah, so we don't have Terror. Can't really help us out here. Corviknight, I need you waking up here and maybe getting, like, a crit or something. That'd be awesome. That'd be beautiful. That'd be a beauty for my, for my Corvo. We're gonna do this. We're gonna double down into the uh, Porygon slot. And he's just gonna go for bulk ups. So I am plus four on defense, so again, if we can like wake up and get like a crit maybe. We would have a shot, but no. I I I, I can't even wake up. I can't even wake up. It's just, just this is just embarrassing. Let me run this one. Ice Beam's gonna one tap us. Yeah, four times super effective, I told you guys. And and that's game. That is the game. It's a brutal loss for us. Let's just chalk this one up. Let's go hop into match number two. Look for our first victory. 
Moving on to our second match for today's video, and we're going up against a pretty dope team. I mean, we're going up against Amoogus again, which absolutely sucks. I think Taurus up in the last match, just spore spamming. But they also have Dusclops, they got Como, o Metagross, Basket Legion, and Incineroar. So, I want to pop Trick Room, but at the same time, Amoongus on the field is really looking scary. Um, who should I go into here? I think Corviknight is just a solid option here, especially with all the physical attackers. If I can start boosting our defenses, that's really good. So I'm going to go Corviknight here for the lead, and I might just lead it with Incineroar, or I could lead it with Frigorath. I feel like that gives us options. Hmm. For Riggies? Or maybe I could go in with, like, Executor. I mean, for Riggies, we'll stop, like, first time priority, which is great news. So I'm going to go into Frigorath here. I'm going to go into Corviknight, and then I'm just going to go Executor or Ursa Luna. So I do like this. I definitely do like this. So, match number two on its way. Let's see how they end up playing this one. Let's see how they end up playing this one. But, yeah. That last match, just Amoongus Spores. Oh, man. Did me so dirty. Did me so dirty. Especially next to P2 with Fighting Terra. I think that thing actually does, like, low-key does do, do, do good damage. So, it's like P2 and that Amoongus. Just pretty strong combo. My opinion. Again, I was spored left and right. They had tons of ways of HP recovery. They had regenerator on the Moongus. They had what was it? Recover on the P2. And they also had Palm Puff, which they didn't use. But Metagross basically to come out here for a lead. I don't uh, mind this too much. Um I don't think I had to rationalize looking at their team. I mean Iron Defense is a beautiful play for us. And then we should just set up Trick Room, right? It could double down into us, but I think Trick Room is just like an easy play for us. Yeah, let's do it. So Trick Room into Iron Defense. Try to get bulked and beefed up. We can start body pressing away after that. But Basket Legion, on the other hand, looking a little tough, man. Looking a little scary. I didn't think they would bring in Basket Legion. Especially with no Rain Setter. Unless, I mean, maybe someone's rocking Rain Dance. I don't think so, though. I don't think so, though. Let's see. I think they brought that out thinking I was going to lead Incineroar. Because it kind of makes sense with Clear Body Metagross next to it. That they really thought I was bringing Incineroar for the lead, but we're going Corvo and Frigraph. Wave Crash Gun Launcher. This should do mad damage. I actually did a lot more than, than I wanted to. And he's going to explode. Really? I mean, honestly, both of you guys might soak this. This isn't stab. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Both of them don't soak this, which is really good. Iron Defense is going to bulk us up. Explosion Metagross, and we get off Trick Room, which is really good news for us. But Trick Room's here. I doubt a uh, an Aqua Jet can KO us, right? I doubt it, especially because we're going to get some leftovers HP. I could protect and like prevent that, but I'd rather just attack this turn. So Corvo gets a little bit of HP, goes almost up to yellow. Again, I don't think an Aqua Jet can KO us. Plus two on the fence. Real bulked up. But Dust Cops going to come out here. The Dust Cops is here. Two Ghost Steps can't body press, which really sucks. He's probably honestly just gonna pop Trick Room and cancel out my Trick Room. Let's be honest here. That's exactly what's happening. So at this point, I'm just gonna attack you. I'm gonna double down to you. Because Dust Cop's not that big of an attacker. If I could get rid of Basket Legion here, that'd be pretty big. But I think what Basket Legion wants to do is obviously just like attack, take out my Corvo. And then Dust Cop's pop a Trick Room to cancel out my Trick Room. Makes the most sense. Or it could just attack. I mean, it's probably slower than everything. Let's see. He withdraws Basket Legion. That's fine. Who are you going to go into? Who you got cooking here? Amoongus. Oh, man. Chill. Yo, you better chill. That Brave Bird launcher. And Psychic. I mean, Nightshade's going to KO us, which kind of sucks. But Psychic can do some decent damage here. Psychic can do some decent damage. The so Psychic launches. They keep Trick Room out on the field. Psychic does respectable damage. Are you buried? You're not buried. Now, Executor could come out here just to stop, like... I could go into you, but the problem here is you can get be spored. I think we just go into Executor and we kind of we kind of deal with this. So Executor comes out here, could launch another Psychic. We go into Dragon Pulse. I think we double down to a Moogus, who honestly might protect. I'm gonna double down to Moogus. I'm not dealing with it. I don't think it protects. I think there's a chance of it swapping potentially, just for Regenerator. But I'm surprised that Dusk Ops didn't go for Trick Room to cancel out Trick Room. But they're kind of thriving with the Trick Room. Right? Amoongus could put my Executor to sleep. Or not my Executor. My uh, Furrigar after sleep this turn. And he's going to choose to Terrastalize. 
So Moongus most likely getting this tarot. We are going into a dragon move, which is good. And he's going to go into water. Dark. Perfect tarot type for my psychic move. Can Dragon Pulse pick up the KO? I really hope so, because I think we're going to sleep here. You're going to nightshade me. Pick up damage. Does the same amount of damage every time. Spore's going to come out here. I mean, who didn't see that coming? What is, like, is today National Spore Day? Is today National Spore Day? Dragon Pulse is going to fly through. It doesn't pick up the KO, but we bring it low. I could see it swapping here. I am going to go for a Giga Drain in that slot, in case it wants to swap. And if I can, I mean, go into nice little Psychic here. So we still have our Terra, which is really good for us. Especially Water Terra, or not Water Terra, Normal Terra up against Bashiku Legion. Alright, let's see how this one plays out, because Duskop's looking annoying here too. I'm gonna go for, oh, dude, Pain Split, really? Really? You're gonna get back HP here? You're gonna go for Pollen Puff and launch it into this slot? Oh man, it's ugly. At least I am Giga Draining, and I have Berry, and I have a chance to Harvest, which is really good. So we use our Berry, we'll go back up to 136. Giga Drain launching, doing respectable damage, we get back more HP. They always sound some Trick Room turns. Can I wake up here? Or maybe Harvest the Berry, either or would be great. Nope, not waking up. Harvest the Berry? Maybe. Hopefully. Nope. Neither. So I'll launch another Giga Drain here. I mean, you could go into Pain Split, but you're just going to keep getting less and less HP. And I'll Psychic the Dust Cops down. So each turn they waste out, I mean, they keep buying me turns to, like, get another Harvest Berry, which is really powerful for for us. And he's going to keep launching Nightshade. So Nightshade's going to launch. Chance sorry, go for a Palm Puff here. Yep. And for Griff, if you can just wake up here, we pretty much can win this game. This Giga Drain picks up the KO. Harvest me a berry as well. Harvest me a berry, eggs. Harvest me a berry. Just eat up a berry. Harvest up. Like, we got Harvest on you for a reason. It's it's time it's time to use it. It's a photograph still asleep. This is getting ugly. And Harvest a Berry. Harvest a Berry? Did you Harvest a Berry? No, you didn't Harvest a Berry. Ugly. That's real ugly. Alright, um... Our best play here is to go into Trick Room and Giga Dream. Hands down. Because they kind of have to choose who they want to KO here. And I think Frigoraph wakes up. Is it, was that three turns for us? Wave Crash gonna launch here. He's gonna send it into Executor, who's four times resistance to that. That is massive. And Giga Drain's gonna launch, pick up the KO before Dust Cops can even move. So there it is. That's game. And they cancel match. That's hilarious. But I couldn't harvest the berry, which is getting annoying. And I couldn't wake up either. So still getting put to sleep in match number two. But again, like I told you guys, this was a bounce back match. They turned off their console. We're one and one. Let's go hop into our third and final match. Time for our final match. Your boy sitting one and one would love to grab ourselves a winning record with Alolan Executor, but we're going up against Alolan Ninetales, which I hope they don't bring. I mean, it kind of looks like it's just on the team for weather control, so that could be a plus for us. But I think our lead of Corviknight and Frigraph has just been working really well here. I mean, Mirror Armor could bounce back Intimidate. We got a lot of special attackers though, which is a total different thing for us. Yeah, so I kind of don't want to go Corviknight this turn. I think maybe like Incineroar could be good for us. Into Furgraph. I think just get off Trick Room. Or I could go Executor. No, let's go Furgraph. Furgraph's just so good. It really is. I mean, they could set up Weather Control, which would be terrible for us. But I like both of these. We're going to go into both of them. So we'll go Furgraph. We will go Incineroar. Um, Ursuluna and Executor are going to be the call. Yeah, I think they honestly might just go into Ninetales. It seems like a, an easy play for them, especially up against a team like mine with no weather control. They could just easily set up a war bell and just kind of be annoying, right? I mean, obviously, I could fake it out turn one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's looking, that actually sounds good. Unless they have Incineroar who's going to fake out first. Let's see who they lead. Okay, Murkrow, Golden Go. I don't mind that. Murkrow and Golden Go. They can't taunt me. They could go for a nasty plot here. I think fake out is just a waste of a turn. I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, what are they going to do here? Foul? Ooh, they could foul play. They could foul play. I do want to go for knockoff. And you know what? I'm going to terrestrialize. Actually, no, I'm not going to terrestrialize. I'm going to knock off and just go for Trick Room. Mercury might even swap here, too. I could fake out, but it's just like, I don't like that play. I, th I think it's too obvious. 
especially uh, being top 1,000 in Master Tier right now. I think it's too obvious. And they go for Tailwind, so money play for us. Money play for us. Make your Rain's gonna launch. Robo Soak. You can have your Tailwind all day. You can have your Tailwind, because guess what, baby? We're setting up Trick Room, and we're launching a knockoff for almost a KO. Big time damage. And your Specs is gone. Specs did some damage. Alright, so they went for Tailwind, we went for Trick Room. Huge play for us. Nothing's better than when that happens. Nothing's better. Nothing's better. But now we're sitting here, um... Only go might just protect this turn. It might just be a simple protect and like a foul play. But who could they go into is the real question. They could go into Incineroar. I think our best bet is just throw another knockoff into this slot. And then just go for Hyper Voice and pop our Throat Spray. Yeah, this works out fine. So he ends up not swapping Golden Go. Hyper Voice is going to pop our Throat Spray. You're probably going for a foul play here. But I mean, if you're not, you just allow us to go plus two. And knockoff's going to go next. Beautiful. Night, Night, Golden Go. Golden Go's gone. It's a big time KO, especially because that thing is just such a good special attacker. Hmm. There's the foul play. That's fine. I mean, I get to bring out my, my stronger Trick Room Pokemon. So from here, I mean, Ursaluna, probably our best bet. <laughs> Let's be honest here. And then maybe I could just like Parting Shot out into Executor. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Sounds real lovely. All right. So you got in the Primarina. Yeah, we definitely got to you know, deal with that. We definitely got a parting shot at that. And then we'll just Terrasilize and Hyper Voice here. Just to chip up double damage. Yeah, parting shot in that slot. Really good call for us, especially because Incineroar should go first. And I can parting shot into a Pokemon that's four times resistance to water. Because you got to be going for a water move here. You got to be going for Liquid Voice, Hyper Voice. It's just me. It makes perfect sense. You were super effective on the both. We're going to Rasslash, try to get rid of that weakness. It's just going to protect Primarina. Okay, so Primarina with the protect. I think we just spam that same play, though. Because Hyper Voice is definitely going to bring this thing down to, to uh, probably like low yellow, red maybe, or even KO. I mean, a Terra boosted Hyper Voice just does so much damage. Yeah, just does so much damage. And Party Shot's going to get blocked, which is it's no big deal. And if I could just get out Executor here, we can win this game, no problem. You're gonna go for the Foul Play. Good thing we are special attacking. It does minimal damage to us. And we're just gonna do the same thing. Same thing is, is an easy play for us. It's a very simple play. And yeah, they went for Talon. We went for Trick Room. And that's just... That's just pretty much wraps, right? I don't I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it, but we killed it. It's just, it's just a... It's just a top tier play. It just gives you the edge so much. It really does. But, yo, if you guys haven't checked out, I know I said this in the last match, or not last match, last video. Actually, I'll talk about it after his Hyper Voice for his career. Does some nice damage. But if you guys haven't checked out my best competitive rain Pokemon video, definitely go check that out. We are working on best competitive Generation 1 video. Right now, it should be out probably within the next week or two. But uh, my thumbnail creator just sent me the thumbnail, and it looks sick. I love the thumbnail. I really do. The thumbnail looks so dope. So I'm super excited for it. I definitely am super excited for it, especially because it's Generation 1. And who doesn't like Generation 1? Generation 1 rocks. Everybody loves it. So, going to be another fun video. Hope you guys did enjoy the competitive rain Pokemon one. If you guys haven't checked that out, again, get on top of that. Go check it out. It's a great video. Really edited it really well. It's, it's basically a top 10 video, but it's like top 7. But, um, they end up going into that Hyper Voice. We're four times resistant with Executor. And, yeah, this match is pretty much over. I mean, they still do have Terra. Which, I mean, I can Giga Drain Primarina, but only one nine going should come out here. Scary little Pokemon. Scary little Pokemon. How many turns are left in Trick Room? One. Um, chances are they double protect you, right? This match isn't over. This match is not over. Unless they don't double protect you. Unless they don't double protect. Let's see. They don't double protect. That's huge. That's huge. So we're probably going to lose Executor unless this picks up the KO here. Let's Blood Moon Ursaluna can KO. So we use Blood Moon. Big time damage. Stab with Terra Boost it. It does pick up the KO. Now we win this one. No problem. I was going to say, if they double protect, they have a shot at winning this. Because Trick Room would have ended. They could have had some speed. We would have had to probably swap into like somebody else. 
And they could have honestly just went for like Blizzard and Hyper Voice to KO my Ursaluna, but everything works out fine for us. We now go into Giga Drain, we go into Hyper Voice, that's GG. So Alolan Executor, bouncing back in match number two and three, dying out to that shot, which actually sucks. I wanted to survive, but like I said, bouncing back in match number two and three and picking up two wins. So going 2 one for today's video. Love this team so much. The tall tree prevails. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, rocking out with the off-meta Alolan Executor. Tons of fun, especially using it within this Trick Room. We had Corviknight bulking up our Iron Defense, Blood Moon Ursaluna obviously being a Trick Room God, and then we had Incineroar for a grab, and Tauros. Did we use Tauros today? I don't think so. But still, we had Tauros on the team. We had Tauros on the team. A lot of fun today. Love this team so much. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.